use what we use, what we learned today. Um, types, functions, arrays. I don't. We didn't use objects, but uh, conditionals. Just try to put it all together. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to use a um, a browser, so I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. And you'll see me use the terminal window. This is when I'm running this. I'm running in Node.js, so you can run terminal, and that's how you can run your code. We're going to get very familiar with this, but this know this, it doesn't run inside the browser. It runs inside the server. All right, so I can do this um, with ES6 code, but I'll try just to start. It may not work, but you'll kind of get where I'm going with it. I don't have a lot of time to really do it. So first off, I'm going to try to build a simple blockchain. Very, very simple, right? So what I need is I need a construct. So I need a, a data structure. So I'm going to say the chain is an array. So I'm going to just have an empty empty array, right? So empty array. That's going to be my blockchain. Block chain is an empty array. All right. <clears throat> Then I need to be able to add a block. So add block will just be for now just a function. Sorry, I, I won't use uh, ES6 code. So it's going to be an, a, not, uh, a named ex functional expression called add block. I probably want to also get the latest, get the, the last block, the last block, get the, lit, the last block. And that is also going to be a function right there. It's going to do something. Then maybe I'm going to have to calculate uh, calculate a hash. Now I'm going to use calculate calculate hash. It's going to be another function for now. And I don't know what I'm going to do. It's going to be very simple with that. So I've add a block, get the last block, uh, calculate the block, and maybe I don't know get 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 the blockchain itself. Blockchain itself. So I'm kind of writing some pseudo code here. I kind of think I know what I want to do. I have add, get the last block, calculate a hash, and get the blockchain, right? So, so my calculate hash will probably return a hash, but I'm going to use something really simple. Uh, I'm not going to use a hash right now. There's something called math.random, so it's going to give me like a some pseudo number. And um, I don't know, I'll just use that for now. Maybe I'll grab this guy here. So give me give me some some value uh, that some random number for now I'll, I'll I'll use that and that's going to be kind of my pseudo hash and I'll times it by I don't know a thousand and then I should actually have an initialization as well on this block on this chain right so initialize and just initialize right so this initialized function will what will it do so. What will my block look like? So first of all, add a block. OK, so what am I going to do here? First of all, I'm going to need a Genesis block just to start out. Genesis, Genesis, I can't spell. Block is going to be, I'll add, I'll, I'll call my function add block. And what I want to do is give it some parameters. So I'm going to give it a parameter of, what am I going to give it? I'm going to give it a, um, an amount, say, I don't know, an amount, an amount maybe. I don't know what I'll give it. That'll be zero. Okay. Genesis block. Initialize the Genesis block. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a structure called an object. So, I'm going to return an object that has a hash. And to get that hash, I can actually, I'm, see, I'm going fast now, but I'm just trying to show you what I'm doing. So ideally the hash will calculate the hash. Uh, previous hash, well, I don't think there's a previous hash yet, right? Because it's, it's uh, well, actually, let's call it null for now. I'll have to figure that one out. And then the amount will be the amount, the amount, right? And then this will be the object I'm going to return this guy. So I'm adding a block. The block's going to have a hash. We have to figure out how to get the previous hash previous hash. So we might have to figure that out. Um, so what I'm going to do is this Genesis block is going to go, it's going to add zero, calculate some hash. I don't know what the previous hash is, to be honest. Maybe maybe my my code could could somehow could figure that out. Maybe I'll have a previous hash here. And on the Genesis block will just be like a null, right? So I'm going to have a null. 
and 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 this is going to add the previous. So I got to figure out the previous link, but for now, it's going to when I call this function here, it's going to create a Genesis block. It's going to get a block back, and then I'm going to use that array blockchain, and I'm going to push my Genesis block on top of it, right? So let's see. Let's see if I. So here's my pseudo code. Let's see if I can just initialize it and let's see what it looks like. And um, so the get blockchain will just console log out. Uh, it's going to console out my current state, which is block the blockchain, right? Block. All right. So I have some pseudo code. How do I start this? Because if I save it, what I can do is I can run my terminal window. So I can do node 1.0 and run this and it's not going to do anything because I haven't done anything yet, right? I didn't even call anything. So what I need to do is I need to initialize it. So I need to do this at least. So actually if I do get, if I just make a call to get blockchain, I should have empty array. So let's try this guy here. Empty array is empty array, okay. So then I need to initialize it. So here's my initialize function and I can even move my, well, I won't. Sometimes you can move your con your terminal window over here, but I don't want to. I don't want to mess anything up on you guys. Okay, so I'm going to initialize everything, and that should add the Genesis block to the chain at least, and I should have one element on my chain. So let's see here. So you can see there, I have one element. I have a hash of 29. Previous hash is null. The amount is zero. All right. So that's my blockchain initially. So then maybe I want to do a transaction. I'm going to do add block. And I'm going to put an amount in as 100. And I still don't know how to get the previous uh, hash yet. But let's run that and see if it adds two. So I have, so what happened here? I have actually, what happened? What happened here? So I have initialize. And let's check it out here. Initialize, pushed on the block. Okay. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. Add block. Okay. Sorry. All right, so what's happening here as I get it? Okay, so we might need another function that um, create that does the create block. Okay, so create block. And it's pretty much this right here. So this is going to create the block. And add block should just push. Okay, let's try this here. So if I'm losing you, that's all right. I'm just trying to show how I would build something out using functions and using JavaScript and trying to think it through, right? So initialize should, should, um, what should it do? It should, it should, we should back up a little bit here. So create a block. So the Genesis block should be created. And then, and then we should, we should have the block to push. Okay. If I can think through it here. So now we have a block and we want to, we want to add the Genesis block to it. Okay, so initialize, create the block, and then add it, push it. Okay, let's run this one first. Comment this out, see if it's working. And we can always build on this. Okay, so, all right, that works. Okay, but now I want to add another block. Okay, so I want to add another block. So let's see here if I got it right. I might have to... I might have to add, kind of manually do this here. So I might have to go like this. Um, new block number one is create block and it's going to be 100 and null. And then after that, we're going to have to manually kind of say, okay, add block is block one. See if that works. Let's see our chain if two elements are there. So two elements are there. Okay. Same thing as if. We did this again and we had block two, block two, right? Block two is a, is a different a different amount, different amount. We should now have three blocks on our blockchain, which we do. Okay, so I only got five minutes. We would try to have probably have to figure out what the previous link to the previous one is. So that see if I can do it in this much time, but what you'd have to do is get the last block at that time in the blockchain. So you'd have to try to figure out, you know, what was the last element and then try to grab the hash from the last element, right? So let's try to do that. So, so maybe we'll do a var, 
last block is um, we have an array blockchain blockchain and we want to grab the last element so we already said it's zero based block so we're going to do array dot length minus one and ideally that gives us the last block and then we are just going to return the last block and hope that it's there so then what could we do here uh where could we grab this so if we have initialize as null okay previous okay create block is expecting us to have previous the previous hash so maybe in our add maybe in our okay i see right here maybe here we could call previous uh get last block which should return the we should return this object here, right? If it's the last block, it should return the previous one. So if I'm trying to add the second one, I should get the, the last one, which is only one, the Genesis block, and grab the hash from it if it works and pass that through. Let's see here, hash. That's that's assuming that is that it's not null. And, that, and that it should it should all link it up. Let's try it. Let's try this guy as well. Make sure that I spell everything right, because as soon as I miss something, it'll... Okay, let's try this guy without any errors. Uh, missed something. Okay, so it missed something. And I'm probably... I'm probably, you know what, let's... So again, you, you know, when I talked about using console log, let's actually look at what it is. So console log out, console log out what it is, and I bet you it's an object, so the object doesn't like this. Let's see. So it is a function, okay? It's a function, get the last block. Last block is a function. So I'm missing something here, I think, and maybe I'm calling, oh, I know what I'm doing, I'm not invoking it properly, that's what it is, okay? I, it is a function, I didn't invoke it. Okay, so when I invoked it, it did actually give me the object back, okay? So maybe what I need to do is you know let's just do this then um uh, do it in a weird in a strange way current current equals last block and then on the current that's going to return the object let's see if we can grab that guy current hash if i'm going fast i'm just thinking out loud okay so you don't have to grab this all i'm just showing you how you put together something and then I got two minutes left, so don't worry if you don't get it. <clears throat> All right, let's see if that works. <clears throat> All right, it looks like it worked. All right, let's see here. So we have a, a Genesis block that has a hash. It has no previous hash. It has an amount. Now we have the new block. It has a new hash, and it links back to the previous one for the new amount, and so on and so forth. We don't check any valid. Val we don't check if it's valid. And, and we certainly aren't doing the hashing properly. Um, but what we're doing here is we're using a lot of functions and you can tell I use small functions to explain what I'm doing. And I try to break it up really small, contain everything. And if you were to read this pseudocode, you would kind of understand what it's doing. It's a blockchain, it's creating a block, adding a block, so on and so forth. And then, this is a template to build out because there's more to build out, right? So, so you can see here, functions are really important, and and um, and then you start building your logic out, right? And and uh, I can talk it as I'm going, but you might not be able to, which is perfectly fine. But you can see every step of the way, I'm console logging so I can understand where I'm at, and then I'm invoking my functions and then trying to build something. So I can build on top of it for the next time. All right, so that was kind of a really quick, really quick thing, right? So let me just try to stop my uh, stop my show here, and uh, 